go so, so wrong. It won't, because you will be there to help me during the wedding. Nina is taking my children from the hotel to Spain tomorrow. So today is my best and only chance. I don't care. I am not running away. I need to be here for Maxine in her last months. I've observed Nina's routine at the hotel. Now, she dropped Sophie and Sebastian at the creche for one hour at lunchtime to go to the spa. What if you were stealing another mother's children? You know what that feels like. I am taking my children back from Warren, who has palmed them off on some au pair. OK, so your job, while Nina is at the spa, is to distract the creche staff, giving me enough time to leave. And then I take a car and I'll dump it at the airport. I'm looking for Sienna. Has anyone seen her? That is exactly what he'll be saying later. How can you leave the man of your dreams? I was up all night with Demo. It's a wreck, thinking about what's in store for Maxine. Well, we've all got to rally. Hey, hey, I'm probably getting upset. I've got something to put a smile on Damo's face. Damon and Maxine might not have long together, but you two, look at what you've got. You will never find anyone better. I paid her to say that. She is right, you are punching. Well. Who knows what anyone's future is meant to be? Hey, we've got big plans for the future, haven't we? I'm still ready to look into adoption. You are going to be a great dad one day. And you are going to get the chance to be a brilliant mum again. Sienna. We have to get going. I love you so much. And I'm so grateful for everything you've done for me. I'll see you. Yeah. The hotel later. My heart is punching to get out of the chest. Oh, you think I'm finding this easy? Can't we just have a nice spa day? You know, sit in a hot tub while I talk you out of this ridiculous plan to steal children. It's not theft. We could leave here with glowing skin and a clean criminal record. Why isn't she at the spa? Come on, Ursula. It's time to check out. Say goodbye to the hotel. They're leaving now. Oh, well, well, that's that then. Plan B. What is plan B? I don't know. We're going to have to improvise. This, this is too dangerous. I can't morally do this without knowing for sure they are your kids. How many times have I got to tell you I am sure? OK, Sean, he has a look of my dad and of Warren and Ursula. She has my eyes. But if you don't believe me and you're not going to help me, then just get out of my sight, Liberty. Go! adventure with mummy. We're going to go to a little Greek island called Simi and every day you're going to get to play in the white sandy beaches. And mummy is going to get a teaching job when you go to school. And every day we're going to snuggle up and read stories. We're starting again and it's going to be perfect. My babies. What are you doing? I found my children <laughs> at my wedding hotel. Yeah, and we're leaving. You haven't seen us. Stop. I mean, who do they belong to? Me. Sienna, you can't do this. You can't just abduct children. Look, please, let me ring a doctor. You need help. You can go to prison for this. Well, I'm not going to get caught. Try to chase me now. <sighs> Bye, Max. Uh, no, I I can't let you do this. You can walk. So? Are you even ill? This isn't about me. You're not dying at all. You've been faking it this whole time. Where is she? I don't know. Why are you upset? It's an emotional day. Sienna was like that this morning. You saw how clingy she was. Lost a bit when I mentioned having kids in the future. That is all she wants. At the expense of everyone else. Well, she knows I want to adopt. I saw how tough it was for her going down that dead end with the police. I have to really believe in those twins she saw were hers. Liberty! 
She's kidnapped them. Sebastian, that's your name. And Sophie, that's yours. And you're safe now with Mummy. And guess what? We are going to go on an aeroplane. Sienna! Sienna! Sienna, stop! stop! Sienna, please just listen to her. Look, we won't let you take them! Sienna, open the door. Come on, please. You let her out! How could you do that? I saw you take the laundry room key card. Oh, this is false imprisonment and abduction. Get out the car! You, you've got my handbag. Get my phone and go onto photos. I, I can prove something to you if you've got a grain of doubt. I don't. You'll take seconds and just look. Just do what she says. Please, for me. <laughs> that's it, Dad. See, that's his garden and that's his short edition of his birthday. Well, no, well, that could be anyone. That, that could be a friend of Warren's. I don't know what's driven you to this, but they are not your children. <gasps> After everything we've been through, I've no idea why you couldn't talk to me. But those children, as much as you want them to be Sophie and Sebastian, they aren't. And somewhere, there is a dad who will miss them just as much as you miss the twins, so please. Sienna, open the door. What are you thinking? My sister has a history of ill health. Save so the excuses for the police. Her twin babies were kidnapped. Every mother's worst nightmare, the pain she is living with every day. All she wants is to be a mum to her children, but that is never gonna happen. You have to give up the search now. I mean, you don't understand. I have these dreams of their little hands holding onto mine, and I could feel them breath and their heartbeats and then I just wake up. <laughs> well, you've been through an ordeal, but the children are safe. She's punished enough, isn't she? I just want to forget about it, right? No police. Okay. <laughs> The mum was unstable, but this is the next level. I didn't know what she looked like, and I'm sorry, OK? Luckily, I had photos of my brother with the twins. But they're fine, and that's the main thing, isn't it? I'm taking my kids back to Spain, and I'm finding a new, reliable nanny. She said her name was Anna. She sh she befriended me for weeks. She, she had this whole kidnap mapped out. Oh, she's good. I'll give her that. A real mother's instinct. Looking into their eyes. Knowing they're hers. I mean, the lengths that she went to for one tiny little reunion. <laughs> it must have killed her to let them go. And she will never get that chance again. Sienna will never get a better than me. Where did you sleep last night? I was worried. The wedding hotel. Not that I actually slept. Bodie, I'm so sorry. I really messed up. You almost kidnapped two babies. The whole wedding yesterday, I was stood there watching Damon and Maxine. No complications, no dramas, just in love. That realness and honesty, I want that. That's what we had. Morning, campus. Don't mind if we join you, do you? <laughs> OK, don't tell anyone. But we, we haven't made it home from the wedding last night. No? Well, we'd never have realised. Yes, we're still a bit piddly. I mean, tiddly. Is it piddle or tiddle or both? Both. Mm. 
Actually, I was just about to leave. No, stay! It's gonna be a scorcher. Thanks, but I'm good. Oh, Sienna, let's hang, girlfriend. Do you know, I never thought I would say that to you. Or oh, at all. Yeah, we need to always used to be friends. Shh. Everyone knows that. But let me tell you, this girl, she has come a long way since the crazy old days. Nancy's right, you should stay. Reminisce about how far you've come. Oh, good. Thought you'd be close today, we couldn't from the wedding. I only had some mates there last night. Thought I'd have some tidying to do, but it was cleaner than when I left it. Anyway, not like I've got anywhere else to be. Oh, poor you. Having to hang out on your boat in the sunshine. And don't pretend the view's not bad. Is it a cocktail? A bit early, isn't it? Like you said, the sun's out. Let's live a little. There you are. I've been texting you. Cocktails look nice. <laughs> Do you fancy making me one? I thought I'd make myself clear this morning. I need some space. Come on, Brady, don't be like that. Like what? Normal. <laughs> Seriously, Sienna. How do you expect me to react after what you did? Can we talk in private, please? No. We were having fun before you turned up. I've forgotten what fun was. You know, what I used to have when I was single before you and all your drama came along and ruined everything. Are you sure Brody broke up with you? No, he didn't actually use those words, but he was so disgusted with me. He's finally met the real Sienna Blake. But he didn't go through with taking those children. You did the right thing in the end. Yeah, in the end. But why did I even think that was an option? Because you were still grieving over Sophie and Sebastian. You have lost two babies. And when you saw those twins, it all came flooding back. I don't think that Brody sees it that way. And I'm so scared, Liberty. Because I'm frightened by what I might do next. Don't be afraid. I am here. To look after you. I was to move out of the village and get away from here. And leave me on my own? No way. If you do need a bit of medical help, then of course you should get it. But you also have me. So you don't think that I'm losing my mind? That I'm back where I was a few years ago, sabotaging everything that's good in my life? Absolutely not. You're talking sense now, aren't you? You know exactly what you've done and precisely how you feel about it. You just need something to take your mind off it. Flowers. My dad would be so proud. He loved flowers. Mm. So did mine. But the stems had to be cut at exactly the right angle and placed in the correct vase or woe betide me. Do you think about Patrick a lot? Last night, he is all I can think about. I mean, I am the twisted product of his evil mind and our mother's troubled one. It's toxic. My dad used to tell me stories about happier times. How they'd dance at the fairground when they first met. Mm. Mum sipping on her sherry, wearing a bright pink tutu. Singing Bob Marley terribly, apparently. <laughs> oh, I wish I'd seen her smiling. I miss her every single day, and I never really knew her. How's that even possible? Because you have such a big heart. People think I'm ditzy. I just skip through life, singing songs, wearing rose-tinted glasses, but... Yeah. No one could be that happy all the time. I was hoping a little ditty might win over the judges. Don't ever change. <laughs> I don't know how. Hey, do you think we could, um... I have treated you so bad when I should have just been kind, and I am really sorry. Do you want me to, uh, 
bop him on the nose or give you some space? I'll, um, I'll close up the shop. Okay. I was a little bit drunk yesterday. I don't know if that's no excuse, but I wasn't expecting you to do something so extreme. Well, I'm an all or nothing kind of girl. Well, then I'll take it all. Liv? Liberty, guess what? We're having a baby. Oh, OK. Uh, breathe, relax. I'll get you some water. Maybe I should call a doctor. <laughs> Wait, not right now, obviously. <laughs> Brody and I discussed it, and we want to start a family. Oh, but you can't, after the cancer. Oh, she has had some eggs frozen, so we're going to look for a surrogate. I am desperate to be a mum again, and I know this whole thing might take some time, but who knows? In the future, we could be parents. <laughs> oh, wait, let's do it now. What? I'll be your surrogate. Folic acid, magnesium, iron. Where's my fish oil? Must be in my room. <laughs> The more I think about her being our surrogate, the less it seems like a good idea. Why? You were all for it. Well, she's my ex-girlfriend, for starters. Well, you should have said something last night. Look at her, she's all excited now. And so am I. Well, at least I was. I'm sorry. It's been a full long week for all of us, and we need time to think about it properly. This might be my only chance to be a mother again. You two, you're a bag of nerves. Honestly, there is no need to be. I am happy to be doing this. Because family means everything to me. Carrying this baby has given me a whole new purpose in life. Still no word from Max? No, the phone's switched off. <sighs> Should have gone with her. She said she'd be OK. Still wants to feel like she's got her own independence. Right, I'm gonna go and make a new batch of strawberry and kiwi punch. We're running low. I'd like a smoothie, please. Something that is chocker blocker in vitamin C. Thank you. Daddy? Shh! Keep it down. Is there something wrong? I don't want you to think I'm being ungrateful because I'm not. But I don't want this. I don't want you to be our surrogate. You have got to be joking me. We haven't thought this through properly. We need to pump the brakes and let Sienna get back to normal. You saw how heartbroken she was about the twins. I can't chance that again. I don't want her getting hurt. I'm not making this decision lightly. I've thought about nothing else all night. And I know, in my heart, it's the right thing to do. I want to help her. I'm sorry, but I just think it's better all round if... Use a professional I've been looking online. You want to use a random woman? Someone who could change her mind after nine months and not give the baby up because there are no guarantees with a stranger. And if I were to do it, you will both be involved every step of the way. That's what Sienna would want, and she should be the most important person here. But what if you don't want to give up the baby? Then Sienna will lose her sister and her child. I would never do that. Sienna is everything to me. I was even prepared to go on the run with her. I want what's best for her. And if the past week has taught me anything, it's just how much she wants to be a mum. And if there is even a chance I can help her with that, then I'm going to whether you like it or not. <laughs> what are you up to? Trying to put things right. I'm sorry about earlier. I shouldn't have been so against Liberty trying to help us out. I just didn't want to make a rash decision. Especially after everything that happened this week, I had to be sure my head was in the right place. And is it? <laughs> yes. She made me see that keeping it in the family is the right decision. So, I have something I need to ask you. Sienna Blake, will you be my baby mama? <laughs> well, with an offer like that, how could I possibly refuse? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I asked her to be here. 
This is going to be the best thing. You are going to be brilliant parents. Like, I actually can't wait. I'm even looking forward to the morning sickness and getting fat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a baby. <laughs>